All right, we're going to be going over the muscles of the face and the head here. The first structure we're going to start out with is the epicraneus. It runs all the way over the top of that head. It's made up of three smaller structures. First, we have your frontalis muscle. Sitting right over that frontal bone. Then we have your epicranial epineurosis, which is symbolized by the white structure. Then we have the occipitalis muscle, which is going to be hard to see, but it sits right on the back here, over that occipital bone. That's the occipitalis. And we're going to flip the model here. And we're going to take a look at your orbicularis oculi. It's going to go right around that eye there. It's your orbicularis oculi. Then we're going to have the orbicularis porus. Just going to go around those lips. And come underneath here. But... It's your orbicularis oris. I'm going to flip it again just slightly. We're going to have the buccinator, or bucinator, right there. Your choice of pronunciation helps you pucker those lips, cheeks, sorry, helps you pucker those cheeks. It's a buccinator. Then we're going to have the zygomaticus. It's your zygomaticus. Then we're going to have the platysma, running all the way down that neck there. Platysma. Then we're going to take a look at the temporalis. This muscle right here is not the temporalis, it's too small, so don't get confused with that. We're going to turn the model all the way around. And there we can see your nice big temporalis muscle. It's going to be one of the muscles of mastication. Then we're going to flip the model again. We're going to take a look at the masseter. It's your masseter. Then we're going to flip the model. And right here we're going to have the levator labi superioris. So levator labi superioris. Then we're going to have the depressor labi inferioris. Right there. Then we're going to have the depressor anguliaris. Kind of running an angle over there. It's so a depressor anguliaris. And we have your nasalis. Your nasalis. And we have to flip the model again to show you the sternocleidomastoid. This whole muscle here is going to be your sternocleidomastoid. You're going to have a sternal head. into clavicular head. So sternocleidomastoid, sternal head, clavicular head. And finally, take a look deep in here. We're going to have the lateral, lateral pterygoid muscles right there running horizontally. So it's your lateral pterygoid and then your medial pterygoid muscles running at an angle there. Now we'll take a, take a look at the muscles of the abdomen and the rib cage. First muscles that we're going to look at are the external and internal obliques. Right here you can see those uh, muscles running downwards and in, so that's going to be our external obliques. Then you can see a cutoff here where it's like a dissection line and the trend of the muscles uh, goes the opposite way, kind of at an upward angle, and those are going to be called your 
internal obliques. And then another dissection line. And then this will be called your transverse abdominis. If I rotate this a little bit, you can see this muscle running straight up and down here. That will be called our rectus abdominis. The next structure we're going to look at is that linea alba. Then we're going to take a look at the intercostals. Um, if we look, open this up here, intercostals means in between the ribs, so in here. And they're going to run along those same, uh, the same trend as your obliques do. That's going to run your outer ones are going to run down like this into your pockets and then your internal ones are going to run up at an angle. The next structure that we'll look at will be the transverse thoracis and that'll be this structure right here. The next structure that we'll look at is the diaphragm, and that'll be right here at the base of the lungs. See it running along there? The next structure will be our latissimus dorsi, and that'll be this big one that's spanning your back right here. That'll be your latissimus dorsi. The next structure will be the serratus anterior, and that'll be these muscles up here, kind of going around the rib cage in a finger-like projection. So that'll be the serratus anterior. And finally, we'll take a short look at the muscles of the spine. You can see just a few of them in here. Um, your lab manual notes the extreme complexity in this series of bas back mu muscles. Um, you can take a look at them in your textbook um, if you want to learn more about them, but you will not be tested um, in a very complex way about them in this lab. Now we'll be looking at the muscles of the, of the pectoral girdle. A few of these muscles in this section will be demonstrated on other models because they cannot be seen on this particular model. The first muscle that we will look at is the trapezius muscle. That will be this big one kind of on the back of your neck. The next mu muscle that we will look at will be the rhomboid major. That will be this one down here. And just superior to that will be the rhomboid minor. If I rotate this model a little bit, I can see the levator scapulae. That will be running right here. This is the levator scapulae. Next, I will rotate this again. Next muscle we'll look at is the pectoralis major, and that will be this big muscle on the front of your chest. And lying deep to that will be the pectoralis minor. If I rotate this model again, we can see the supra spinatus. And then the infra spinatus.